Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon, Mod the Gungeon, and we're gonna go into the Gungeon with the Paradox. So we're getting further away from the microphone just to, uh, I don't know, create atmosphere? I'm not sure. Why, why would I? Why wouldn't I? Anyway, no random stats, yes random equipment, modded. We've got, uh, let's see, a couple updated mods, uh, a couple updated item mods and a new one as well. So hopefully we can see some fun new stuff. I'm seeing 1.3 damage to start with. So we've got, yep, we've got a good item to start with. Wait, good item to start with there. We got fat bullets. Don't mind if I do, fat bullets. How about you? It does have one minor downside to it, which is, I mean, it, it's not necessarily minor. It can be a big deal. Uh, having the negative modifier to our ammo capacity can be pretty rough at times. But uh, we can, you know, to an extent, if you get a penalty like that early enough, you can kind of build around it as much as you can in Gungeon, which is to say... We'll prioritize items that we see in the shop that are related to it, and we can prioritize ammo a little bit more. But honestly, it's a it's a penalty I'm willing to take. It's it's like a really, 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 really solid damage up. 30% is nothing to sneeze at. In fact, I, I really could have sworn it was only 25%, but no, 30%. Jiminy Christmas, man. That is actually nuts for a base game item. It really has like all the flavors of an item that uh, you would think would be modded. Hit. I kind of, you know, I, I dig that idea. That whole uh, here you get a little bit of this stat, but at a at, at a cost. Uh, as long as the trade-off is still like a it's still like an obvious net positive. I think it can be a lot of fun. I think this room has. Um, Holy moly, a lot of enemies. First of all, I think this room has a final wave that has a bunch of, or at least two or three of the chance kin. Question mark? Exclamation point. No, not yet. It's so long that it really does feel like it, you know, you feel like you deserve an extra reward by the end of it. Otherwise, I'd, I'd be much more annoyed at this room if it did not have that, uh, that final phase here where we get, yep, two. But if we do not get it, I'd rather get this quick first because I think that this one spawns second. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'll take it. Boy, we are hurting for ammo. Shock awe. I can't believe we're hurting for ammo. Who could have predicted that? But, you know, anyway, we'll, we'll, get, a, we'll get a gun chest. If not, we'll get a gun from the boss. In fact, I should probably force a gun from the boss now that I think about it. Let's do it. Let's let's force a gun from the boss. I do want the Verdant Blaster. It's actually, like, it's pretty darn good if I remember correctly. I think it has okay ammo economy. And on top of that, it's a gun that is a modded, which is always an exciting thing. That, that, that. They're not as frequent, them, uh, m them, their modded guns. Especially not as frequent as, uh, well, <laughs> as regular guns, but uh, especially not as frequent as modded items is what I was going to say. I wonder if, when we're going to get to the point or if we are already at the point where there is just as many modded items as there are regular items. With, like, you know, every, every once in a while, it, it's definitely, uh, it's, Definitely slowed down a bit. I should not have opened that because if it was a gun, I would have been going against my wishes. Chance bullets. Sure. Nothing wrong with them right now. We'll see later. I've always like, can you not like with chance bullets? Can you not get? your base gun to uh, to activate. Yeah, we, we will go for that, but we'll do it a little bit later there. A little smidge later there. beep bop ba da -bo. I'm the scat man. We're, we're breaking all of our secret room barrels, but that's kind of, like, that's kind of okay. I've really been digging having the runs be more compact. This is 
kind of an interesting room. Very, very easy when we're this strong. I've been enjoying immensely having the runs be a little bit more compact. I hope you guys don't don't mind too much. I haven't really gotten anybody complaining about it. Which is a, a wonder, because people complain about everything. So uh, the fact that nobody's complained about that means it can't be that big of a deal. Which is neat. And of course, the way of the world, at least the, the way of the... Whoa, my God, that was... I did not see that one down in the bottom there, because he stopped. The way of the world, at least the way of the world on the internet, is as soon as you start poking at something, now that I mention it, somebody's going to be like, Oh yeah, I do have a problem with that. But you didn't have a problem with it until I said something? Actually, I did have a problem with it the whole time. I just wasn't saying anything. It's like, it's a, it's, it's a double-edged sword. Not really, it's a single-edged sword. You never should talk about it. You never talk about the potential issues because then people will realize that they have them. They're like, oh yeah, I am annoyed now. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, it's the gun from Pokemon Snap. I mean, that's like, that solves literally all ammo issues. Uh, uh, to the point where I'm like, I kind of want to get the, 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 the this one. The, 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 this one. Also, we did not get enough for that. You know what? Can we still do it? Is there... We can still do it. We can still do it. There's the explosive barrel right there. As far as I'm aware, this should still work. It doesn't. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't work at all. As far as I'm aware, it's never going to ever work. I don't know, I still- I, I spent all the resources, <laughs> why not, whatever. I feel like it's been so long that we've actually, since we've actually gone, that, you know, it's just, it is whatever, let's just, let's just go to the, to the modded floor. Who cares if we have to spawn in a Molotov? We could, no, there's no way of getting it with that, there's no way, yeah, it's just, and off we go. We don't have anything else to buy. Yeah, off we go. Especially since, like, Fat Bullets, Fat Bullets, Infinigun, Chance Bullets, it's working together in a pretty smooth way. Like, all, all these ingredients are quite nasty. I mean, it's like... I, <laughs> it's, it's hard for me to not call something a one-run nowadays. It's basically, like, every run is a one-run unless I'm playing a specific character or I get a couple items that are aggressively bad and I just want to see if I can make them work then every run is just a one run anyways but or if I take you know do dumb dodges like that for the whole course of the run then that could start to become a problem but alas here we are got the gun from Pokemon Snap sorry the gun from new Pokemon Snap coming soon and by that I mean who freaking knows? I don't think there's a release date. How would I know that it's coming soon? I ain't. I my my dad does does not work for Nintendo, unlike everybody else's dad who works for Nintendo. Boop, 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 boop. Definitely been a hot moment since we've been to the jungle. We need to we need to get our brain together though, like because it's. I mean that room is nothing obviously, but it's. A d it's a difficulty spike. It's a difficulty spike for sure. I'd say it's a greater difficulty spike than... Uh, eh, where it's like on par. Probably slightly greater difficulty spike than going to the sewers. From my experience. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'd say it's a greater difficulty spike than going from the sewer going to the sewers. Which is already a, a also a relatively noticeable difficulty spike from floor one. It really does all just uh, boil back to the whole weirdness of, uh, uh, of secret floors in Gungeon always having kind of like that weird graph of difficulty. Like, if you go to all the secret floors, if we go to the Abbey of the True Gun, it's... I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, we probably should now, but we don't need another infinite ammo gun, I guess. 
this one's probably just as good or better. Uh, but it's kind of like a it's a weird difficulty spike, especially if you go to the Abbey of the True Gun. If you go to the Abbey of the True Gun, you're probably gonna have your most difficult part of your run right then, especially due to the, like all of the stuff you gather. I don't know. If you leave that floor with full health, you are or full health or close to full red health or close to full red health. I, you know, man, you, you, I think you, it's it's all downhill from there. It's just it's easy breezy beautiful. But I don't know. I I would hmm. talking about it before. I I really do think that uh, like a a floor overhaul mod would be interesting that like kind of hell like a floor overhaul mod that took all the secret floors that are in the game and uh, including like it, honestly including the modded ones and rearranged them differently uh, so that like I don't know maybe the sewers could take over floor floor two or the jungle could take over floor two or, or something like that or hell, like the sewers could take over floor two, the jungle could take over floor three even. I feel like they're about on par, roughly. Especially if the it was in position of, if it was in the floor three position, then it would have the HP buffs of being on floor three, which is definitely something to consider. Every enemy, like, it's always a weird thing in the background of Gungeon that uh, you don't think about very much, is that as you go further in the Gungeon, enemies do get HP buffs. So like a Bulletkin, like a little literal standard bulletkin that can be one shot with a, a sniper on the first floor or whatever. Oh, I mean, I don't even remember if that's true. Uh, might not be able to be one shot on the second floor because they just get a flat buff in their HP, which, you know, it's, it's, it's something. And I feel like... I feel like it would be an interesting thing to see this take the place of the third floor and, like... It, it was just like it used it, it used them Binding of Isaac style or something. I think that would be I think that'd be neat. Belly of the Beast could take over, you know, like floor four or something like that. Hell, Abby the True Gun could take over floor floor four, especially with the uh, with the you know with the HP buff. I think they could work there. Hot dog is it's not very good. It's not very good. Sorry to say, I should have picked up that ammo. I shouldn't. Just because we have this doesn't mean I should only, only use it. We should fill up other guns when we can. It just works so darn well because it completely and 100% mitigates the uh, the ammo issue we have. I'm going to just go pick this up. Literally use it as a shield. I don't care if I lose it. But... I, I think that'd be a slick, a slick mod, uh, and kind of just, uh, you know, I think you could do like a natural progression. The, the only thing is then, I don't know, it'd be kind of a, it'd be kind of a bummer to not have a potential random floor one. I don't know. Maybe that could be, maybe that could be something a, a person works on. Is is an alternative floor one. Even, like, hell, even if it's just, uh, I, uh, even if it was literally just a, a sprite rework of the tile set, I feel like that would go, go along, oh my god, we did it, we got hit. I think that would go a long way, like, just to, I don't know, oh, half of replayability's perception, magic vulture feather. Enemies have a chance to drop a random item. While vulture feathers are naturally gray, these ones are purple. Not for a magic reason, they just died that way. Uh. Oops. Okay. PSM. Did, uh, did prismatism. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that's prismatism. And when it got renamed, the prefix got renamed too? cool deal I can only imagine that that's what that means 
I remember saying something about that a little a little ways back. A couple of a couple of the mods had, oop, had uh, the prefixes that I wanted to give them credit, but I could not tell. Like the prefixes had nothing to do with the mod, and I think that that might be the one, the one that was like uh, like rat or something. It got me. Trying to just literally uh, walk in between the shots there. Why not? We got two blanks too. I don't know why I'm not using them. Yip yip bow. Yip 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 Fifty piece, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I love to see that, and I think I'm gonna get the key. Key. No hot dog, no ration. No hot dog, no ration. No woman, no cry. No ration, no hot dog. <laughs> oh boy. Admiring Pokemon snaps. I was, I, I think I've talked about it a couple times now. I just got it. I got it on my uh, on my desk here. Oh boy, Nintendo 64, such a such a good console for me. I, I I'll admit, like the GameCube, y you know, like whatever. Like graphics aside, like obviously the N64 being Nintendo's first foray into true 3D and everything like always always everybody has to work out their sea legs it's like you can't take somebody who ooh, that's tough oh why would you do that to me? you can't take somebody who did not grow up with the N64 show them the N64 like it, it, unless you're playing like a game that like has a timeless a more timeless art style like it is it is actually hilarious like the looking at the player models and hell on should I say do I should I say it should I say it or even the the gameplay or the player models of something like a golden eye I am sorry to say ladies and gentlemen it doesn't hold up like uh, the the game can still be fun but those aspects of it do not hold up at all like no way jose but there's other games where they did we're not going for like a, a realistic art style um you know like i i genuinely think paper mario on the n64 really 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 holds up visually what even the hell two curse key birth Enemies have a chance to be reborn as keys. Gross. Uh, but like, I think that, yeah, I think Paper Mario 64, the art style holds up. Magic shots, there's so much. I don't, I don't love, wait. I can't remember. I don't think I love nitroglycerin there. I don't remember that. Magic shells, I don't, don't even remember if I've ever had that. Do we pass up the rat key? Just to get some of these. I think maybe we do. But it's like, because yeah, Paper Mario 64, it's got that literal, you know, like shock awe. It has that paper visual style to it. That's a, it's a lot more stylized and it's, um, it's a, it's a simplistic style. And I feel like, wait, why did we just get a flash effect? That, that was them being reborn as keys. That happened really quickly. I'm concerned that this item is busted. I have some concerns it's a busted item. But that might be anecdotal. Uh, you know, like, so you, you look at something like a Pokemon Puzzle League or whatever, where it's like, obviously, it's not trying to be visually stellar. But I, I even think that low poly can look good. Like, I, I feel like... 
Like even uh, I think I think unrealistic, unrealistic worlds had an easier time holding up. Like I genuinely I think that the okay. Oh my god, this seems like it's gonna be OP as hell this run. Um, what the hell? I think Ocarina of Time holds up. Like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. I feel like those still hold up pretty well. Holy moly. This run is so stupid. Oh. There's apparently a gun in here. Yep. Um. Yeah. So about that. Oops. Who made this? It is so busted. It is not even close to balance. Not even close, man. Not even close. Why even open this? I don't know. Jeez Louise. Don't even bother. Fine, I'll, I'll go. I'm like, I'm super tempted to go look at my N64 games right now, even just to, to, to think about it. I got like a... But yeah, like Pokemon Snap and all that stuff. And like, they visually, they obviously look slight jank but i think the very like the colorful unrealistic style is much more likely to uh, to hold up than trying to oh my god i'm just i'm just not even i'm looking at the flashes and everything because i'm wondering if uh we're gonna get an extra item here or something no unrealistic uh holds up better the end in the meantime, I am going to look at my <laughs> collection of N64 games. I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, there's, all, there's I think that the majority of them are, are super colorful, but the, the resolution is really where the issues lie with it. It's the kind of thing where, I, I don't know, I, I actually really, really like the way low poly looks to an extent like games like um not and not a lot of games are trying to go for that nostalgic look nowadays for indie games but there, there's definitely a couple there's that one that just came out i can't remember what it was called that is uh, like intentionally and obvious like it's not hiding it it's going to it's trying to look like uh star fox 64 which I, I, you know, as much as I love it could do with a resolution boost for sure, for clarity's sake. Also, not to mention that game. I mean, I know if it's just my N64, but I don't think it is. But it's got some frame rate issues, but it's a very good game. It's because it's just like, it's the ultimate. I have a, a few hours. I will launch this. Like, I have an hour to kill. Maybe I don't have internet access. I'm going to play that. That's the one for me, you know? It's so, 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 so good. Cla like, you uh, you launch the game, and this is what I love. It's like, the story is just like, hey, it's it's here. You can, you can dive into it more if you want, but it's like, it's straightforward. It's... Like, you literally launch the game, and within 30 seconds, you can be shooting stuff. Like, from the moment you press the power button on Star Fox 64, you can be shooting things. And then, like, each before each mission, you get, like, little heads up. Wolf, can't let you do that, Star Fox. Uh, but it, you get a little heads up about, like, this is what's happening here, and then... It's like it's seriously like a text box or, t or two, and it's it's nothing. And you can and you can skip it. It's just it's great. Oh, it's great for replaying. Is this one of the? No, this is the one where it takes us the whole way. Uh, but yeah, like Anodyne Two also is going for that style. I think you know, it, like you always you run the risk of it being like, oh, you're just being lazy or whatever, and it's like. I don't know. I feel like just I think it's ha that's happened less and less. I think pe less people are saying like oh la lazy lazy indie dev going for pixel art or uh, or, or low poly style. Cuz it's like you know what? 
Maybe if they didn't go for that style, the game never would have come out. Is Gungeon lazy because it has pixel art? No, I don't think so. I, I don't. I think it's. And there's there's good pixel art, bad pixel art. That's and there and it's all subjective, anyways. Like I could think a certain pixel art looks bad, and, and it wouldn't even matter. It's all subjective. Like there's people, and the good thing about going for pixel art is, it holds up a lot better. You know, not every like. We don't need hyper realistic enter the gungeon. Like if we did if, if there was a hyper realistic enter the gungeon, it would be a meme game. Like it would it would just exclusively be a meme game. You know, like shooting out these bees, but they look photo realistic. I mean, you know, it's be pretty goofy. Though I do want to see that mod. I would love to see that mod. But yeah, I just like I'd, I'd like to see more games do that style. There's definitely a lot of games like on itch.io, uh, without using the nail gun. Okay, with only using the nail gun. On itch, itch.io, itch, itch.io. I never know what to go with there. That um, it seems like the games that frequently use that style more than others. Why? Did it, wait, what? We have to do two rooms? The hell? The games that seem to use that style appear to be um, games trying to emulate the original PlayStation, and a lot of times they are uh, they're horror games. And I think that's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's trying to like trying to match like Resident Evil or something. Are you kidding me? What? What the hell happened there? Also, new item. Chaos Ruby. Uncon Chaos Uncontrol. One random stat by 20%, at least in most cases. Rumor has it, these gemstones are what drew Tonic the Sledge Dog to the Gungeon in the first place. Roll distance. Roll distance without roll time, though. I mean, I'm glad we have... Oh, okay, yeah. Roll distance without roll time is... It's only kind of a buff. Nah. It's a buff. It's a buff. It's a buff. It's a buff. Guillotine bullets. Guillotine rounds. I believe this... Is, yeah, it gives us 30% boss damage, which is nuts. And also, like, 5% base damage, if I remember correctly. From reading uh, that before there. Hold on. 3% base damage, but, you know, like, it's hard to complain at 30% uh, at boss damage up. We are gonna shred him. Shred him. 85. This is truly my favorite gun we've got going on right now. I feel like I might have been missing a lot of... Oh, my God. We transformed that stinker. Oh, can we do it here, too? Hell, could we do it with the camera? I'm trying to figure out how to uh, how to abuse the transform the polymorph thing. This is a bad idea. Uh Okay. I didn't mean to go in there now. Da 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 Doesn't matter if we get hit again. Like transforming my shots into bees. That's what was happening with the camera. It was turning them into bees. Doesn't matter. We're gonna lose that in a mere moments. Just doesn't matter. So I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna keep it. I never will keep it. It's just not worth it. Moon scraper, another beam weapon is always good for chance bullets. But yeah, I think that yeah, like on HIO you can find uh, horror games, and I've I've always been super fascinated by that 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 visual style of like using modern technology. And modern game design principles 
but with a like intentionally trying like you literally have to look up ways to make to, to figure out how to make your game look quote-unquote worse you know like you have to look up ways to to add add scan lines add p worse resolution yada yada I feel like uh, chance bullets does not play well with infinite ammo guns because you don't really I'm not really seeing it show up here It's not, it's literally, it's changing nothing. I, I've always had that in the back of my head. I'm like, it, do, it doesn't really seem like it works with the, uh, doesn't seem like it works with the, uh, the starter gun. But I guess it's just, doesn't seem to work with infinite ammo guns. Bop, 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 bop. If we were smart, we would drop everything but disintegrator. So I am smart, so I will. I'm not dumb, I'm smart. As soon as we find this cell creep, I'm going to sell literally every gun but the B gun. Uh, obviously my infinite ammo. And the disintegrator. Dang it. Tried roll. I tried roll. I tried to roll and I choke. Tried to walk away and I crumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. Uh, Macy Gray for Smash Brothers. No, don't touch. Was that Macy Gray? That was Macy Gray, right? What are you doing? That was strange. I would like to find a cell creep. You know it's not a great run when I just was about to consider if I was going to get the cell creep or not because I'm not sure if we got the master rounds. We only have we only have one. We've been really memeing today. Boy. The that item is really really working. Really really working for us. Working overtime. Hey, buddy. What do you think about this? Say! See, so yeah, it's like... Shooting out the turtle shells instead of the laser beams. Ay! Yep! Ay! Yep! Just kind of disappointing. Disappointing in by comparison there. Could bottle that, I guess. Yep. Even though we shouldn't. Yep. Where's our damage? 1.66. Repeating, of course. 1.66. Repeating, of course. We have our shots getting eaten by the wall. Sure looks like it. Oh, our shots are totally getting eaten by the wall. Holy moly! Look how bad that is! Oh my god. Oh my god. That is egregious. Egregious. Look, another thing to sell. Going down. Oh yeah, come here. That was closer than I'd really like. Do we just polymorph something? Is that what that is? Is that what that is? If we did, it doesn't seem like it actually dropped an item. Not sure. Haven't been seeing that very much. It's probably because we've been using a lot of the infinite ammo stuff. Thank you. We have so many keys. Be a great day to get one of those items that uh, transfers keys into some other resource. Is there one of these in like every single room right now? Ba -ba 
Ba -ba -ba. Oh. Let's see. Be interesting if there's an item that put one of them in every single room, but it gave them like twice as much HP and made them twice as fast or something. I don't, I don't know that that's a good item, but it's an interesting item to like, okay. To modify that, like the health of specific enemies. It's an interesting idea to play around with for sure. Beast blood injection. Sure. Wow, look what that did to our health. Why am I doing this? Why am I the way that I am? Why have I done this? I can't believe you've done this, me. We probably should have just kept the Ring of Miserly Protection. Miser... Miser... Zer, zer. Protection. Just keep doing it. Fire and Flare. Alright. But yeah, I think, uh... Hell, maybe we'll keep this, too. When we sell all the other stuff. <laughs> Sacrifice our master on, too. We just put ourselves at 2 HP. God, it's so bad! The, the, the bullet break! I mean, I think it's because it's already... It's, it's bad because of the, uh... Pavel Andre's pack apparently has some kind of a bug with it. Should probably take it out until it's fixed, to be real. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty bad. Like, there's situations where it could, one, I mean, and it has in the past. There's situations where it can make you get hit because you can't kill an enemy in time. I've 100% had that happen. Oh, that flash is because we're, that flash is, not, oh my god. It's because of the camera and <laughs> chance bullets. Duh. Of course it is. Just don't die off the pit. Please. Oh, okay. That looks like an HP related thing. It's not. Hot water. Boiling fungus. Creates a damaging aura when standing still. That's interesting. How damaging? Because <laughs> if it's only as strong as like, uh... oh, we have the keys for this. Oop. If it's only as strong as like a, uh, a gungeon pepper or something, it's not worth it. Okay. Thank you. All right, so it's either... Th wow, is there really... This is the closest teleporter? It's either through here, which I doubt, or it is off past the boss, which it is way more likely to be there. I don't know, that might end. It's hard to say, because the dog also did a bit of damage there. Dog did a bit of damage there. Trying to get it to, uh, to proc something here, I'll be honest. Uh, uh what? I got clipped by... Oh, the frame! Great. Did not know what to do there. Man. Sure love being at three hearts because it makes me look like I uh, am doing a terrible, terrible job when I get hit twice. My dodge roll distance is huge. It's 
like I said, it's honestly I don't know if it's really helping me much. Don't know that it's helping me much, but getting hit on that fight too is just like this is just a uh, boy. It's dumb all over, dumb all over. Let's sell some stuff. Sell that for sure, sell that for sure, sell that for sure. That for sure. Um, honestly, it, this will just take the place of the disintegrator, which I don't want. I'm tempted to keep that. Is there ammo for sale? There it is, thank you. We have so much money. There's really no point not to. That's full. That's full now, too. Okay. That should be good enough. Do we have extra HP? Eh. All right. Off I go, then. Or not, because of the frame. Oh, boy. I love a three health run. We couldn't have let that uh, Ring of Miserly protection stay, huh? Huh? All right, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just get the uh, the master round from the first and final boss. We get HP pickup bookends. It's definitely an interesting type of challenge run to just not pick up. Um, to just not pick up your HP, you know? God, this is just not going to work. It just... It's not gonna work, it's just too terrible with the ammo economy. This is bad. Yeah, it's like, the fact that it's almost gone. Like, it's great at proccing chance bullets, but it's almost gone already. That's just, that just ain't so good. Don't really need more keys. I shouldn't really be going out of my way for them at this point. The damaging aura seems kind of bad. Ah! Are you actually kidding me? Look at that! I can't. I can't. I can't shoot through the hallway. Basically, no. I mean, this is the natural use of this aura. You won't enter my zone, though. If he won't come close enough, there's nothing I can do. I will just shoot him away. Shoot him away. So I wonder if we kill with the shot that's not the standard here. Probably doesn't count, huh? Game probably wouldn't recognize it as a Polaris bullet, right? I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. I feel like rank two might be, uh, it might end up being, whoa, where it's at. There we go. Good deal. Good eel. Good meal, good peel. Oh God, that was, that's so clunky with the, with the extra distance. Yeah, I swear that, I, that item did not, did not do us a help. Don't you run from me. Don't you run from me. Room done? Oh god, this room is... Visually confusing. Because there's so many dang snakes that aren't enemies. But I know they're, I know they're fake. I just gotta treat them like they are... Uh, treat them like they're not here. Is that the fu that's the fire rate up one? Right. I think so. I'll do it. 
curse is at 4.5. I guess it has the same amount of curse. Does make me eat through my ammo. But, like, we can use it with the uh, Infinigun and we'd be in a great spot. There's really just no point to keep on uh, killing these. I'm just adjusting my headphones there. Hello? 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 Where is that son of a gun? I guess it's just... That's the item there. Uh-oh. Honestly, Freeze Ray is a good pickup for this. Ah, you suck! Um? God, what a gross. What a gross setup there. Gross setup. Pincer by Shelatins? Unkind. Absolutely unkind custom room there. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just cast this into the fire. Cause we got I saw we got some random bees there and they were actually harming us. Boy. Disappointed. None of those are worth picking up. When you have chance bullets, you just gotta be very, very, very intentional with what you pick up. Ooh, we do put the ice on the floor though. We do put the ice on the floor though. I'm basically just using this gun as a reliable way to proc all of those chance bullet things. What? Oh my god, small boy. Big boom. We're alive. That is great stuff right there. Can it come out of our uh, our gun? Also, malediction rounds uh, is pretty crazy. I believe when we kill an enemy, we have a chance to kill another. Uh, can we get some procs here? We either have a chance to or we do kill another. I, I don't know. This whole... Ah, man, it's really... It's ruining so much of this run, the uh, the big bullet thing. The, the bullet break on the wall. God, it's ruining so much crazy. I, I didn't think it would ever be so relevant. Just get rid of that. Not worth it. It's just a... Unless you're on rainbow mode, it's literally just a... Uh, just a regular old shotgun. I'd love to get some ammo back, ammo back, ammo back. Yeah, I feel like the Malediction round surely will not count for Polaris damage up. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Maybe, maybe it does. In a weird backwards way. Maybe any kill while you're holding the gun counts. I never thought it. I, I thought that it was just the bullet, but yeah, maybe it's life orb rules. Uh oh. I thought I had something better on quick switch there. Get him, buddy! I love it. It's, it's small boy. There's big boy, and this is small boy. -y. It's like obviously crazy good. Cannot be gun dropped. 
That's probably on purpose, huh? Probably on purpose, huh? Alright, alright. Oh, no way in hell am I gonna do that. No way in hell am I gonna do that. Corrupt heart. What does this do again? Modern damage to all enemies in the room. Eh, who cares? No, 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 All right, we'll, we'll throw out big boy or small boy. Eh, it's not really a boss killer. Not really a boss killer at all. Trying to charge up the uh, active item so we can switch to Infinigun, meme it up. Is that not the boss damage cap? Are we reaching? We're not reaching. We are at the boss damage cap. Good. Meme it up, 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 meme it up. Oops, nope. Crazy, dude. I wonder if small boy will not jump at him yet. Because there's no actual. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. This is too slow. Never mind. It ain't too slow. Slow. But it's not that slow. Old. But it's not that cold. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want anything else. I am curious if this gives us a synergy. It does not. Okay, then ditch it. Don't want any garbage guns in our pocket. We only, and in fact, like can ditch that too we only want things that are going to work well with uh with chance bullets it's funny this run looks like if you look at the hp pool like a, a, a person watching without much like concept of uh, of, of the game would probably assume that this run is really bad <laughs> you know like oh man he's only got three hearts because it's like he's like oh my god people people look at it the wrong way they, they see oh my god he's two hits or two hearts away from death but it's like imagine if i my hearts were up here and i was two hearts away from death it just wouldn't matter like yes oh my god Yes, it's we goofed on the bosses, but that's it. We were we were we goofed on the bosses. Other than that, this run, run has been like hilariously okay. The worst, obviously, they're terrible. I mean, did you see that he got hit? Did you see that he got hit? It's in Gungeon, getting hit in Gungeon in 2020, cringe. Did I make you hate that kind of comment? Good, you should. It's terrible. Uh, there's a, clearly a mimic up in here, up in here, up in here. Ah. Uh, oh well. It's all good. Good morning. Bye. Did you live? The hell, man? Is there another mimic in here, or is there just another mimic room coming up? Ah, there must be another mimic room coming up. I guess it was down to the south. Oh, jeez. Got 
I love it. Meme it up, meme it up, meme it up. It's just, this is the perfect, this is the perfect gun for this active item. That's why I picked up the active item. Also, like, we probably weren't going to get much more mileage out of the trading HP for damage situation. Like, we would have gotten some. But not much more. I love the art on this gun. <laughs> oh, this is not... Oh! Wait, can that hit me? This is like... This is highly goofed. This is highly goofed. It's definitely working better here than it did against uh, Monsieur Dragon. Get out of my swamp. And into my car. What the hell? What the hell? Why? Why? One of my own. How about that? Why? Why? Why you do this to me? Womp. Uh-oh. Thank you, Malediction Rounds! My freaking hero. Ah! Thank you! Spring heel boots. My freaking hero, part two. Thank you. Nice relaxing free bonus room. <laughs> Ooh, two keys that we get to use on no chests. Pow! Pow! All right. Large room, many boy. Probably, if I remember correctly. Thank you, malediction rounds. Make this room less annoying. Yeah, we got we got a pretty gross collection of items for this room in specific, which is great. Thank you very much. And there was ammo back there. Should have picked it up. Actually, we cleared the room so fast that we can. That's hilarious. Small boy. This has got to be an S tier, right? Where did we get this? It's, like, it's got to be an S tier, right? Like, I, I, if it's not, I'm so confused. It's like black hole gun level room destruction, but it's more offensive than than defensive. Like black hole gun is is amazing and very strong, but this does crazy damage too. In addition to just locking down everything, this is this is like instead of if uh, if instead it was not just wow CC, it was legitimate just like death. No. Thanks. Send it. Oh, can he not go in a pit? Does he just blow up immediately if he's in a pit? Go, 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 go. I feel like we are... Oh, no, we didn't reload. I feel like we're moments from the boss. All right. I guess, what, what's the downside of this gun? I, like, I, I know there doesn't need to even be one, but, like, I'm trying to find it. I think... I guess it's how slow the shot comes out. Because it's not the fastest launch ever anyways and then he also has to run to them and blow up but like it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter at all oh <laughs> i love that it is not an amazing boss killer like it's really good don't get me wrong it's like especially 
it has uh, it ads like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the uh, scripting in no gun drop. You did it so I couldn't gun drop it. I, I know you did You did it because of me, didn't you? You didn't want me to, to meme it up. You knew I would meme this gun up immediately. You knew I would meme the hell out of this gun if I could gun drop it. Also because it probably maybe would break the game if, we, if you could gun drop it. Oh, boy. That being said, you could get something like Cormorant and just Infinifier it. Wait, it would kind of look like that? How did that happen? Oh, is that just because the, uh, I think it's just because our friend came with us. Yep. Oh, God. What is that? Okay. Man. All right. Did we get? We did indeed. Got the meme. To the place where I belong. In the gun gym. Mountain Mama. This is the music of the episode today. That's how it is. Hello. Boss damage cap. It's nice to meet you. This item lasts precisely one, one boss phase. Bop. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That is going to do it for today. Holy moly. Greatly appreciate any on support you receive on the series at this point. With an extra special thank you to Throwbow, Nadal, Rick, Justice, Tom, More Than Awesome, Semi-Colon P, and Patricia for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier, helping me do this full time at a time where I could not otherwise. Thank you to them. If you want to support, link down in the description. It really does help an absolute metric bootload, especially... Especially, especially right now means an extra, extra heaping helping. But holy moly, good run, great run, lots of fun. Small boys nuts. Small boys nuts. As always, Infinigun from uh, New Pokemon Snap is crazy. Is that what, that's what I called it last time too, didn't I? Oh well. Uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for more Gungeon, Roguelikes, and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.